you know, it's easy. It, it's really not that difficult to see people, what people's gifts are. If you'll just sit and watch. You can sit and watch the simplest of things. You can sit and watch somebody spill water. You know, maybe somebody you know, brings a glass of water out here and, and, and then on the way they, they trip or whatever and they spill the water. If you watch how each person responds to that, you'll see what each person's giftings are. Here's what I mean. As a person feels glass, somebody comes out and goes, oh man, if they have the gift of encouragement, they come out and go, oh, that's okay. You know, you won't, you won't spill it next time. And it's been a long time since you've spilled anything, you know. It's got the gift of encouragement. Or if they have the gift of mercy, they go, you know what, God forgives you. He, he's not, you know, he's merciful towards any mistakes that you make. Or uh, maybe it's the gift of helps and the person comes and starts cleaning everything up. If Gerson has the gift of giving, they're like, hey, you know what, I, I, I think the glass is messed up now. I'll buy a new glass. I'll take care of the cost. I'll bless you. And I give towards that, you know. Or if it's the gift of teaching, you know, a person comes and says, you know, in the Greek, and you know, what water means is, you know, is it, you say, well, it's a gift of teaching. Or a person comes up, and maybe they've got the gift of administration. They come on and they say, well, you know, I think the carpet wasn't straight. And I think that's why you tripped and you spilled the water. So we'll get that fixed. You know, it's a person with a gift of administration. Or the gift of exhortation. Hey, you know, go get another class, try again, you'll do it this time, you know, that's a, so you just watch her, the gift of worship, it's like, you know what, the water's gone, but let's just praise the Lord, you know, it's, oh, there's a worship leader, man, right there, you know, or if the gift of evangelism, you know, oh, the water's built, you know, you may be thirsty here today, and one day, you know, so it's bam, the gift of evangelism, you know, or... Or the gift of pastoring is like, you know, if you'd have held the cup differently, I'm not sure you'd have spilled it and you wouldn't have fallen. That wouldn't have been, a, wouldn't have been an issue. You know, or if, if the gift of the prophet said, you know, I knew you were going to spill that water. <laughs> so all you got to do is sit back and watch how people respond. Or watch how your heart leads you and respond to that. I think we've believed a little bit of the lie that if we say, oh, God, use me, God's going to say, okay, let's see. You hate the cold, you're going to Alaska. No. No, God puts dreams and visions in our hearts, and he puts us in a group of people so those things can be accomplished. Because you cannot accomplish anything of real meaning and purpose by yourself. It takes a team. And I tell you, we got such an awesome team and a family of God here in this place, man. All sorts of gifts coming together. 